Hi everyone, we're in Video Studio today and we're going to take a look at overlays, how to use them and where to get them. And if you're curious about what an overlay is, you've almost definitely seen them before. The most obvious of places is uh, on the evening news. So it's very rare to see just plain video footage on the news. It's usually overlaid, hence the name, with information, like perhaps the person's name. Maybe there's a ticker at the bottom of the screen showing other news headlines or stock prices. And these information areas are designs that somebody has made to accompany the video. So the first thing you should know about an overlay is that there's nothing magic about them. They're in fact just a picture. They are a picture file, like I have already loaded into my project here. These are PNGs, so these are image files that allow for transparency. And that'll be important. Another version of this might be the GIF. A JPEG would not work because they don't allow for a transparency layer. And these were created in a photo editing program, just like PaintShop Pro, um, by a designer. And uh, we're going to, here, I'll add some more to the project here. Um, so you just open it up where you've got them saved. And I'm just going to select all of these. These are what you would call lower thirds overlays. They just take up the bottom part of the screen. And I'm just going to drag them over into my project here. Perfect. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this video clip that I have of some aerial footage over Montreal and I'm just going to drop it onto the timeline and I'm going to take this overlay here and just drag it to the track below. So you'll see it kind of pop up over top of my video and while these yellow nodes are still selecting it, I'm going to right click it and I'm going to say fit to screen. And what that's going to do is it's going to fit it to the screen, to the dimensions that I have set up for my project. So then I'm just going to grab onto the right hand side of my overlay and just drag it out to the rest of my clip here. And now I will just scrub to the beginning of my footage and hit play and you can see that I've got this lovely professional looking overlay over top of my footage. And you can see the designer of this overlay has actually used the transparency of the PNG file uh, to uh, a greater extent in that it fades slowly as it goes to the right. So you can see the video just kind of peering through the overlay which is a very nice professional looking effect. So from here you're going to want to add some information to the overlay. So I've gone ahead and I've created a title that just says Montreal from above and I've converted it to a PNG as well. And I'm just going to drag this down onto the third track here. And we'll pull on the right hand tab here and just extend it to the length of my clip. And you'll note that the text is just kind of floating up here but it's a much larger image than that so I'm just going to bring it down and we're just going to align it where it looks right here and I'll scrub over here for a second and we'll just play that out and you'll see that now we've got basically a complete overlay. So I've gone ahead and I've deleted our lower thirds overlay and I've reset us back to our original track and the reason I've done this is because there's one more thing I want to show you, a different kind of overlay and this is called a split screen overlay and there's various types of uh, setups that you can use. This is just one of the ones that I have. But we're going to set it up a little bit differently. So if you look down at your timeline, what we're going to do is the first track here is always your video track. And in this particular uh, setup, we don't want our video to be on the video track. We actually want it to be on an overlay track. And the reason is now we get to move this video around and even resize it using these yellow nodes on here if we want. Right, so with that in mind, we're going to take in our library our split screen and we're going to drop it onto the second overlay. And we'll stretch that out over there. So now with that selected, that overlay selected, I'm going to right click in the preview window and just say fit to screen and then we'll select our video clip again and now you can see that I can actually reposition this into my overlay. So it almost acts like a template, an organizational tool to kind of make your screen space look neat and tidy if you've got a lot of information in there. Um, so if I right click on my first overlay track and say insert track below, I'm going to create a third overlay track. Uh, one in between these and I'm actually just going to drag the same video clip we're using here and maybe I'll use the the last half of it so if I if I just 
clip it backwards here and we'll pull that back to the left and hit let's reposition that now if I hit play now I've got two videos playing within the template at the same time so you can see here in the final product that these overlays really allow you to optimize your screen space when you're working with a lot of information in a neat and professional looking way. We've mostly worked with news related overlays in this tutorial, but really overlays can come in any form. Sports, talk shows, commercials, they all use screen real estate in unique ways, and these overlay designs are key to that process. If you'd like to create your own video overlays, just remember to save the images as a PNG if you'd like some transparency and be sure to match the aspect ratio of your video, whether it be 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. If you check below this video, we'll leave a link to a page where you can download some free overlays to try out. And you can always check the store as well where we're going to have a growing catalog of professionally designed video overlays for all kinds of themes. Thank you very much for watching.